The students were asked to create a project that would further demonstrate the knowledge they've gained. The class is very untraditional, students are self-directed, the learning is defined, organized, and completed by them. My role is simply to facilitate, ask questions, and at times, stir the pot. Inquiry-based learning is important because it allows the student to seek knowledge through questioning. We all learn best when we're at the center of our own learning. I believe that inquiry-based learning exists in all of us and happens to be most prevalent in young children. It's our nature to constantly explore and inquire. The inquiry process is mainly the gathering of information, applying to prior knowledge, and building on it as we go. So do you want to stand it up? They need volunteers right over there, guys. Go ahead, Rosemary. So we added one, one cup of water here. Yeah. In bottle one, and in bottle two, two cups of water, and then bottle three, three cups of water. So what we're going to do is that we're going to add um, three teaspoons, um, one teaspoon of yeast to each bottle. And we're going to add one teaspoon of sugar to each bottle. So. Did you figure out after we discussed about the yeast and the sugar, does it matter? Did you, when you took it home, that's why I was asking. Oh. Did it matter the amount? I don't think it did, really. So. Because, like, with all the, like, all the yeast, it kind of was. So. So you have different amount of water, but the same amount of yeast and okay. sugar. That should not matter at all. No. Okay. So, like. Our hypothesis was that the one with least water was going to like blow up the most, and it was it was correct. Oh, that's yeah. cool that you guys figured that out then. After all that, you figured it out. Okay. And what about time? How long did it actually take for it to work this time? Well, um, it took thirty minutes. Mm -hmm. um, so like this one, this was was this one was after the thirty minutes, and this one was after the one and a half. Hour. Wow, that's phenomenal. Look at the difference, huh? Yeah. So we won't be able to see that today because you'll have to let it set. Yeah. Okay? So here we added the teaspoon of yeast and we mix. And then you can add the teaspoon of sugar. And it's like feeding the yeast and it will react to it as soon as it gets. Now when you say react, what kind of reaction does the yeast like, have? It makes, it creates gases that will eventually blow up the whole so essentially you're feeding the yeast sugar and that turns into a gas. As a teacher you want to make sure that the students are understanding what they're doing. In this particular clip they get it. The girls understand that yeast is a living thing and produces gases. Therefore I can move on, they can move on, I do not have to prompt or advise them. And I've learned this through inquiry-based learning. Um, we just did some research on yeast and yeah. how it's alive. Um, and that was my question before I got interrupted. So you did figure out that yeast yeah. was living, okay? So um, the real name of the yeast is uh, sacrum, Sacromix, I think. Sacromix. Cerevisiae. I don't know how to say it. Um, um, yeast is a living organism which is found in the fungi kingdom. Um, and which was also a debate, right? You yeah. thought maybe it might have been a bacteria and you found out it was fungi? Yeah. Um, yeast feeds off of sugar, water, like sucrose, um, fustose, glucose, and maltose. Um, yeast is mostly used in bakery shops to to leaven. leaven bread, but it does lodge on the surface of overlooked fruits like berries and feed off of sugar. We found out that when um, like a maybe a, a fruit that falls off the tree and it like over ripens, like yeast is found on it, um, feeding off of its like sugar. It's oh, really okay. cool. Um, some, something really interesting about yeast is that it takes 20 billion yeast cells to weigh one gram. That was something we found that was really cool. Those are great facts, and they fit perfect into this activity. Nice job, girls. It is very important to assess students as frequent as possible to check for understanding in science. Because it's very easy for students in science to be misled by an outcome during an investigation. 
Questions help assess the students in a more personalized manner because inquiry-based lessons are more individualized. And with this particular group of students, they will not be assessed on their end project, but rather on the steps they took to get there, which in part is in their written data, but also is vocalized during each step that they take through me asking questions. In the next segment, the two young ladies try to extract DNA from strawberries, but fail at doing so. I try to remind the students that failing and trying again is what makes science fun. Students need to know that it is okay to feel perplexed and confused about an investigation, but moving forward and trying again is what is important. And the process of repeating the same investigation will allow and help the students to preserve the knowledge they've gained. What are you doing? We're adding rubbing alcohol. So that way we can pull out the DNA. The DNA of rubbing alcohol? No, the DNA of the strawberries. Okay, so you're putting rubbing alcohol into strawberries. Okay. Can I try? No, no, you can't. So did you chop up strawberries and put them in there? It kind of looks like a smoothie. Yeah, we mush them up. Okay. Mm -hmm. Is there a purpose for you guys to do this? What's your purpose? Um, to see if we can extract the DNA from strawberries. By okay. using Dawn, rubbing alcohol, salt, and water. All right. Now, do you plan for them to stick to the wooden stick, or, or are you stabbing something? Yeah, we're supposed somewhere? to be able to pull them up. Yep. And I can see it from the side, but they're not sticking. Mm -hmm. Must be happy. Must you did something wrong. Yeah. Uh, it's better the first time. Well, that's what science is all about, right? Mm -hmm. If it doesn't work, you keep trying. So could you make another mix and maybe try again? Yeah. Okay. Can I see it? 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 Can I see